Hi, I'm Josh here at Wisconsin Lending Lab, and today we're going to be talking about light fixture mounting options. There are a handful of different uh, main fixture mounting options that I'll go through. Uh, the first one is going to be the simplest, and that one is open top mounting. For that, literally the pole top is just going to be open, and the fixture will either slide over the top of the pole, or it will slide inside and if it slides inside, it uses an expansion type mount where it expands inside against the, the inner part of the pole and secures. Uh, but for that, the factory just literally does nothing and supplies uh, just the open top. Um, it can be done on a square pole. It's just not as often um, found uh, with fixtures. The second type is top cap only. It's very similar to open top, except we just provide a top cap and it gets placed on top of the pole, closes that off. Um, in this type of circumstance, a lot of times the fixtures are clamped onto the pole uh, or it's more specifically a camera type application. Um, other times the contractor is going to drill in the field for their specific fixture. Um, either they don't know which fixture they're gonna use yet or they just want to make sure they get it right um, in the field um, pertaining to like the orientation of um, other options on the pole, so they'll elect to drill it themselves. In that case, then we just supply a top cap only. And again, that's done in round or square. The other type of fixture mounting would be a tenon top. There, we we'll use a casting and a reduced section of pipe welded together and then welded onto the top of the pole. And that, in this instance, then the fixture would slide over the tenon or a bracket would also slide over the top of the tenon. In either case, we need to know the length of the tenon and the outside diameter. Here we have a two and three eighths inch OD by four inch long tenon, otherwise known as two inch pipe. And here you can see if like a fixture is going to fit over the pole, this is a slip fitter. So that would fit over there, secure with set screws and then the fixture housing would attach to the slip fitter. And this is adjustable, which gives uh, the fixture a tilt and you can, you can customize your, your light spread from the light. We offer this in two and three eighths inch OD, two and seven eighths, three inch, three and a half, four inch, and four and a half inch. So moving on, the next fixture mounting option would be drilling. Here you can see a drilling done on a square pole. And this would be a common fixture arm that would mount to that drilling and then the fixture housing would mount to this. This would be a direct mount style. Here I have a radius arm, so this would be used if it was drilled on a round pole. Otherwise, it can be done on a square pole. A few key things to remember uh, that are important would be uh, the spacing, which should be provided by the fixture manufacturer uh, with a spec sheet. The top down drilling location, that would be the top of the pole down to the first drilling. And then the number of drillings. This here is going to be a single drill. If it was a twin drilled, it would have either one on this side or this side. Or if it was twin at 180, it would have one on the opposite side. Another thing we'll, we'll talk a little bit more in depth with later would be um, orientation. Orientation to the hand hole and orientation to other drillings. For example, if the handhole was on the same side as this drilling, it would be at a zero degree orientation because the handhole is always considered zero degrees. We default to 90 degrees to the handhole. So if it's not specified by the customer, then the handhole would be at zero degrees and the first drilling would be at 90. And then everything would be at 180 to 70 thereafter. The last and final fixture mounting that I want to touch base on is a simplex style mount. This isn't very common, but is uh, most often used in steel, uh, round tapered steel, and aluminum, round tapered aluminum. So the simplex style mounting will consist of two pieces, the cleat and the arm. This would get welded to the pole, and then the cleat would hook over the top, and it'll hang there, and then the bottom bolt and the bottom bolt gets threaded in there, securing it. This style mount is most commonly used for uh, mast arms, 
or mid-pole brackets. So for example, this, this could be mounted at 10 feet on a 20-foot pole and have other fixtures mounted at the top of the pole uh, via direct mount or a tenon mount. So those are the main types of fixture mounting applications. Uh, stay tuned for more videos from the Wisconsin Mining Lab.